So we're going to start. Um, first of all, we have to start drinking. I mean, it's impossible to start with, with the sheer. I mean, it's, uh, the fine, the, I, I find it ridiculous. So um, what we're going to do here, a couple of interesting stuff. We're going to um, try to identify uh, the grape. Everybody should have one of those. Right? If you have it, you should have uh, one of those. This should give you a little bit of uh, help. Um, I didn't see the pork loin on the uh, crudite. I'm sorry? I didn't see the pork loin on the crudite. Well, look again. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the point is that should it should help you. And what I did is, as you can notice, we have we know that uh, we have four pairs of wine, um, but uh, you'll see that you have more wines than um, more grapes, more varietals than uh, than on the page than we have. So we're gonna have actually four because it's four pairs. I put okay, that's fine. Um, but we have I put five here just to throw a curveball at everybody, see if they really know their stuff or not. Uh, when it comes to the cabs, we'll see in a minute, you'll see that uh, there are actually two types of cabs. So you have the Bordeaux one and the California one um, because the California is the California one and, and the Bordeaux one is more of kind of the Israeli, uh, the Israeli version is, is based at least on Bordeaux that was uh, originally planted uh, in Israel. Okay, I'm going to uh, take the first wine. Um, everybody should have at least two wine glasses, proper wine glasses. And you pour one A to one wine glass. Now, don't pour the whole thing. Leave some in the, in the container because I would like to go back to that later on towards the end. Okay, if you're trying with different foods and that kind of stuff. Okay, so I'm going to make a bracha. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech olam, v'orei pri agafen. Now, it's interesting, we're gonna deal with that, we're gonna deal with that um, later on in the shiur today, but since everybody already have um, their wine um, in front of them, so what we're going to do is we're gonna say hatova amitiv only once, and that we're going to exempt all the other uh, wines that we have. So uh, Rabbi Broner, I'm gonna give you a, uh, Atova Meitiv on on 1B. What? Would you have a different so you're gonna you're gonna learn today. Okay. You will. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it a ball. Baruch Atan Holam, Atova Meitiv. Okay. Um so I'm gonna let you think about what we just drank and you can feel free to eat it with whatever you want. If you have interesting comment about like certain wine goes with certain food and it tastes like really good, feel free to shout. Um, and then uh, that uh, everybody is, uh, they know what you're doing, but feel free to eat like throughout uh, the evening. Okay, I'm going to start. Yes. One A and one B together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you're comparing one A and one B. So, your first task is to try and identify the grape of one A and B. That's part one. 
And part two is which one is California, which one comes from Israel. They're both the same grape. You need to identify the grape. It's one of those grapes that you have here. Okay? It's one of those grapes. Um, and you need to identify the grape and you need to figure out which is the Israeli one, which is the... Um, okay. Now, Rabbi Broner, why can't I... Why, why this is like the end of my presentation? This is the end. Yeah. How do I go to the... Slide. Okay, this is got it. I'm good. That's fine. Okay. So this is um, our first slide. A second slide. This is for you, Hugo. <laughs> um. These are, this is the same grape. So um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna Benjamin, can you unmute yourself for a sec? Hi. Hi. So in in uh, like uh, two minutes or so, or a couple of minutes, we're gonna stop. We're gonna take a vote, and um, and uh, uh, Benjamin is gonna take uh, is gonna take uh, the votes. Okay, see what's going on. Okay. So the wine, as we know, is, uh, is, is, a, is a drink with very special characteristic. It's both nutritious and it's also makes it because of the alcohol that it has, right? So if we look uh, for a second um, in the uh, process of winemaking, right? This is the way Akadosh Baruch Hu created uh, the grapes. You have the grapes. Right? And then um, on the skin of the grapes, you have the yeast. Right? And what happens is when you crush the, uh, the, uh, the grapes and you leave the skin together with the liquid and you wait, you have fermentation, right? Which becomes, which actually transfers the sugar into alcohol, and this is how we get wine, right? Everybody's clear about that? Good. And this is how we basically have this, the wine with this taste, and it's a deep and interesting and beautiful and special taste together with the alcohol. And the alcohol makes you happy. You know, some people think uh, that actually that, uh, you know, if you want to be a dick, if you want to be, if you want to achieve sanctity, then you have to remove yourself from from the pleasure of the world um, in order not to follow other uh, paths. But actually the Torah teaches us that sanctity should be revealed in every aspect of life, okay? With both the spiritual and the physical together, the enjoyment both in the spiritual and, and, and physical life, and not only uh, the food that is uh, essential for our existence, it has value, but also the wine, that, the, wine, the, the wine that makes us happy also have, um, has a value. And therefore, and therefore, in order to, be, to achieve completeness both in spirit and in body, when somebody is happy about something positive that he or she has done spiritually, then it's good. Yeah, I know it has pork on that, but you know, it's, that's the internet. I didn't, you know. Um, yeah, no. Um, right, and and therefore it's good to to you know to kind of let our body to be happy as well when spiritually we are happy. And this is what why Chachamim actually um, decided that in every important event that has a spiritual value, you make a bracha on a glass of wine. So the spiritual simcha is going to be attached with a physical one, okay? And, um, and this is what Chachamim said in the Zohar. They said, en kedusha ela beyain ve'en bracha ela beyain. 
Okay, so spirit, so in order to achieve spirituality or holiness and blessing are achieved only or with wine. That's the Zohar. Okay, and then this is how we create the synthesis of happy body together with happy mind. Now I'm going to uh, uh, ask Benjamin yes. to, um, to uh, take a vote. So look, we're going to start with, uh, with the people here. Uh, Donnie, are you ready to give us your, uh, what, what do you think this is? What grape is this? Okay. No, it's just Benjamin put it on the sheet like in any, hey, there's no particular order. So that's what I said. The, 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 the Bordeaux Cabernet Sauvignon is more the Israeli type of cab. The California is the other type of cab. Since we're going to compare an Israeli and a California one, this is why you think these are the cabs. Okay, so um, Benjamin, can you hear Danny? I Benjamin? cannot. You cannot. Okay. So Donny Donny Samson, he thinks that A, I'm sorry, that one is uh, the Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay, it's a Cabernet Sauvignon. And which is the Israeli, which is the uh, California one? California. Okay, so Benjamin, 1A is uh, California and 1B is Israeli. Okay, Benjamin, you got it? Yes. Okay, Mo, you want to just take a guess, whatever comes to your mind, doesn't matter. What? Uh, just make it up. Yeah. Okay, think about it. John, you wanna you wanna jump in? Okay, John Stern. Okay, so John John Stern th says that um, one is Merlot, B is Israeli, A is the California. Got it. Okay, Hugo. Oh, 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 this is important. But in every pair. It's the same price. It might be like a couple of dollars off, but basically we're... I really like one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, what grape? Okay, so Ugo thinks it's, uh, that, a, that one is Merlot. What? A mm -hmm. is California and B is the Israeli, according to Ugo. No. Mm -hmm. So this will be say Merlot. Okay. Like right. like Rabbi Broner. In the intro, this is going in. in, in well, we don't know. And you're right. saying one is the California one is this. Oh, I see. There's only six lines in eight. Okay. No, said, Rabbi Broner is throwing us off. Merlot as well. And A is California, B is the Israeli. Jeff. Yeah. Push that to that. Oh, challenge. Challenge. It's a day. I think there are six lines on this list. You think it's a Merlot? Okay, so Jeff Warber thinks it's a Merlot as well. Make your choice. <laughs> Which is A. Okay, Jeff Warber, Merlot. A is California, B is Israeli. Jason. Which means. But what grape? <gasps> okay, Jason, Jason Grunbaum, uh, Merlot, oh, and we said <laughs> A, California, B, Israeli. Um, Jeremy, just let me know when you're ready. I'm going to jump into the uh, no. people here on Zoom. Raviv. Oh, oh. Raviv. Any, any thoughts, Raviv? Yeah, yes. It's, uh, I would say uh, it's a Merlot. Uh, 
uh, A is Israel, B is California. You got it, Benjamin? Yes. Okay, Bruce. I don't have a clue. Okay, you need to make it up. Say A is California and B is Israel. Okay, oh, was it a Merlot or a cab? It's cab? I didn't say it's a Merlot cab. I mean, it's like in that, in that, in that uh, list that you have, there are a bunch of options. Oh. Well, look at that page. Okay, I'll come back to you in a minute. Okay, uh, David, um, I don't know if you're cheating, David. Uh, I, I, unfortunately or fortunately, I actually am. <laughs> oh, you're cheating. Okay, so I'm not going to ask you. Okay, David Katzen is not part of the game. <laughs> He's going to be cheating. But I'll tell you, even having seen it, I picked the wrong, I picked the wrong one. Seriously? I would, have, I would have said the one that I thought was the Israeli turned out to be the uh, California and vice versa. Wow. So having wow. seen it. I okay. <laughs> okay. Guys, if you want to get it right, you might want to pay on the side to David uh, Katzen. He's got the answers. So just saying. Uh, Moshe Kopietsky. Moshe and Arlene. Uh, you need to unmute yourself. Moshe, you need to unmute yourself first. Uh, I can't hear you. Unmute. Patriot taste, pepper, black fruit. Nope, vanilla. you're still muted. Cool. Still muted. Okay, I'll let me help you here. Oh, they tell me what to eat with it? Nope, not happening. Black cherry. Try to unmute yourself. Steve Taba, let's go in the meantime. Recommend you eat with it? Mm hmm. I put the recommend you eat with it? Yeah. Well, obviously it's a it's a guess, but um, I'll also go with the Merlot, kind of in, in large part, just because of the rather kind of light tannins on it. Um, and I'll go with 1A being the uh, the Californian, B being the Israeli. Okay, Benjamin, you got it? Got it. Rachel for Rafi Marmor. Rachel. Rafi said we have that it is a Merlot. And he's That's gonna a Merlot, say, okay. He's gonna say A is the Israeli and B is the California. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, how are the Stearns doing? Well, Merrill and I are, uh, we're saying Merlot, and we're choosing Israeli for 1A and California for 1B. Okay. Benjamin, you got it? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Um, Yeah, uh, uh, Jeremy Mittman. Okay, so Jeremy Mittman is Merlot. And we said again, A is California, B is, is Israeli. But whatever it is, it's really good, okay. Um, Okay, um, who else do we have? What is this? Oh, Ernie. Yes, 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 yes. So Where are you? Merlot and 1A California, 1B Israel. Okay, Benjamin, you got it? Got it. Moshe Kupietsky, Moshe and Orlean. Okay, hopefully you can hear me now. I actually think that this is a Syrah. Okay. And in Israel, they will call it Shiraz. And I think that this um, A is the Israeli and B is California Syrah. Okay, so Moshe Kupietsky sticks with the Syrah and Serpent. Aviv, I can't hear you. You need to unmute, unmute oh, sorry, yourself. Oh, sorry, I, I, I said it before. So I said, uh, Merlot, did he record me or not? Or was it someone else that you were talking No, no, okay, Serpent. Okay. Merlot. Merlot and um, a is uh, Israel and B is California. Got it. Okay. Um, and so Mo Graber is the last one. Just make it up, Mo. <laughs> Mo, just make it up. It's one of those guys. Yeah, it's, it's 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 one of five. Okay. Uh, Mo. Mo Graber goes with Merlot as well. Come on. 
and A is California, B is the Israeli. Okay, Benjamin, we got everybody? Yes. I'm not going to reveal now. I think we should reveal now. Okay. Yeah. What? So, I guess I'll try to do a screen share. Hang on. What? Shall I do a screen share of nah, my? Uh, it's going to be. Yeah, uh, it's it's going to. You know what? No, no, no. Um. Yeah, we're not. We're not. We're not. We're not going to. We're not going to reveal now. That's that's true because it's going to. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fine. I'm going to tell you what you. Okay. So the A is the Israeli one and the B is the California one. <laughs> yeah. The, the Israeli one is the A. And by the way, this is Alexander, the winery. And uh, the B is Hagafen. I can't tell you what's the uh, grape yet. Okay, no. but I can I can tell you guys that I'm very disappointed at all of you. That's all I can tell you. Okay, that is fun. So, so, so we, we can get even, you know, so therefore as we go further, right, yeah. there's really even highest chance of us not getting it right, right, at all, because we don't really know what. Uh, you, you apparently you don't know, you don't know what, uh, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, don't know your wine. I know uh, nothing. Is, I know nothing. This is pretty much correct. Yes. Um, okay. Uh, how do I share my screen here? Here we go. And okay, I'm going to the next slide here. Okay. So we know what on the wine we say Bore Pri Agafen, it's one of the Anim, the most important one. And we say it before drinking wine. And uh, as we say, oh, we know also that the bracha. So when we drink wine, you say Bore Pri Agafen before. And after that, in case you drank enough, i.e. Revi'it, that's the show, we're going to talk about it in a second. We have a special bracha, it's called Me'ein Shalosh. Okay, fine. So what is the source for that? So the, the source for the bracha is from the Mishnah in Masechet Brachot, chapter six, the first Mishnah. And the Mishnah says, What's the blessing on fruits? On the fruit of the tree, one says, except for wine. Why? Right? On the wine, we have a specific bracha that says, Bore Pri Hagafen. Okay. Now, so that means that even though, even though that on fruit of the tree, and vine is actually a type of tree, at least halachically, the bracha when it comes to wine is different because the wine, even though it comes from grapes, it has a specific bracha. And the Talmud actually gives several um, reasons for that. So one is that there is a mala, there's quality in the wine that nishtanabi briato is significantly different than the grape. So wine is not like yeah. grapes. It's significantly different. Well, okay? well. This opinion was refuted because also uh, oil also, oil is not like uh, olives and didn't get a specific bracha. Okay, it's still, if you drink olive oil, you're going to say bore I mean, good luck to you if you're going to do that, but still. Okay, then the second, uh, the second idea, the second uh, was that the yain, the wine, zanet haguf, right? It's, uh, it's nutritious. And Right? It gives nourishment to the body. And that was also refuted because the Gemara says that all food are nutritious except for water and salt. Okay? And then the third um, opinion in the Gemara says that, yain, that wine 
satiate, satiate, right? And that is the only drink that does that. And that was, therefore, that was the, um, the conclusion and that was brought down to halakha. So just to put it uh, in context, the Gemara says that it gives you this idea of being full, of feeling full and the satiation only when you drink a little bit. If you drink a lot, it's only going to increase your appetite. Just saying, take it into an account. Um, okay. No, this way. So unlike, unlike, um, by the way, anyone drank the wine with like any specific food that it really, really grabs the dry salami with the, with the first wine? Really good. Okay. Uh, something. Yeah. So, um, yeah, guys, uh, try the salami with uh, the first uh, with the first wine. Okay. So, unlike unlike other uh, juices, like for example, oranges or apples, um, when they transform from fruit to a drink, they lose. Right? They lose their quality or they lose their status as a fruit. And therefore, they receive the bracha of she'akol, which is more generic bracha. So they had a specific bracha of bore priyaetz, and they become more generic bracha of she'akol. However, the, uh, with grape, we have the opposite uh, process. They start ha'etz, bore priyaetz, on the grape. And then being elevated into a more specific bracha, which is hagefen, bore priagafen, which is more specific. And the same goes, by the way. Okay, somebody's not used to it. This is why it's happening. Um, and then the same goes for. That's me doing here. The same goes for the bracha after. So, if you eat grapes, you say, you say bracha me'en shalosh, ala etz v'al priya etz, which is more generic than al hagefen v'al priya gefen, which is more specific. Basically, um, the idea is um, when elevation, it means that elevation in the bracha is being manifested by a more specific blessing. So you go from ha'etz, which includes all the fruit, into hagafen, which is specific only for grapes. Or you go from um, me'en shalosh, which is generic for all shivat aminim, to specifically al hagefen, which is only for grapes. So this is the elevation is happening. Same goes for shehakol versus mezonot, which is more specific, and therefore it's we consider it as an elevation of the bracha. The more specific it is, okay, okay. I think it's time for us to uh, move to uh, two, number two. So everybody should have bottles or whatever containers that have um, 2A and 2B. And we're going to try 2A and 2B at this point. So pour yourself a little bit um, to the cups and let's see how we feel about that. This is going to be uh... Oh, I love this wine. <laughs> this is true. Oh my gosh. Those are really good stuff. These are really good stuff. That's the most information I can give you guys. Even my wife can get into my head. Jeremy, good luck. <laughs> okay. 
uh, guys on, on the Zoom, please unmute yourself. Be part of the conversation. What, uh, what's happening? Any thoughts? Yeah. Any thoughts? Oh, gosh, this is a really good wine. That's what I have to say. It's yeah, very, these are very, really good wines. Very it's, very. It's, it's very berry. Okay. It's a very strong berry, but I can't differentiate what it is. They're very different, the two of them, even though they're the same grape. Eric, is the alcohol content on these the same? Pretty, I mean, all wines are pretty much the same. Like somewhere in the area of between 13 and a half to 14 and a half, that's everybody. It's a really good one. Israeli wine. wine's now a 15. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. I know. What do you think? I know. Okay, do we have any, any guesses here? Uh, Benjamin, are you uh, with us? Yes. Okay. Who wants to start? A seems a little... Okay, who is who's, who's speaking? It's Larry Stern. Larry, Larry, okay. Larry, a go ahead. A little sweeter than okay. B, but okay. I, I certainly can't tell the countries, okay? I'm, and, I'm, you know, after a glass or two, it doesn't make any difference anymore. But I understand. We still need you to make a, to make a... It's, either, to me, it tastes like either the Syrah or it's possibly the Malbec, but I don't know. Okay. So, so let uh, Meryl uh, flip a coin, okay. something. Flip we, a we coin, need to Meryl, flip a coin. Yeah, what are you gonna say? Uh, yeah. Quick. Which one? Um, Make a decision. Say the Malbec. Malbec. Okay. Um, Benjamin, you got it? Yes. Okay. Stearns are with Malbec. Okay. Who's our next victim? Location. Oh, location. Uh, Larry, you want to make a guess? Which is well, the I'm address? guessing one is not Mexican. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I, I it's it would be a flip of a coin. I think where, where is A it? is Californian and B is Israeli, but that's okay. a real guess. Okay, that's Thank fine. You. Raviv, I I have you twice, for some reason on the screen. Oh uh, yeah, so I I have it's my fine. daughter here. She's uh, she's watching. She's drinking. Got yeah. it. Excellent. <laughs> okay. She had me a question completely unrelated, and I gave a really bad answer. So maybe you can help me. Why yeah. is meat shehakol? The bracha because for meat. What, 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 what else should it be? It's not, it doesn't come from the ground, doesn't come from the tree. So what kind, it's not wine, it's not bread. So what do you, what do you want? it's everything Hi. else. Yeah, 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 that, that, that makes perfect. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi, Tanya. Katya. Just kidding. Just kidding. But I'm you do look like. Yes. Well, somewhat similar. Um, I, I I was wondering because I I figured that it wouldn't it wouldn't fit into like that category of of like drinks that we would that we automatically assume. I understand that there isn't a better category for it, but one would assume like there would be, I guess, an alternative blessing for meat then, or they would create an alternative blessing for meat. Um, the Gemara didn't come with, with other um, categories of, of blessings, so everything else goes, if it's not you know, one of those, then everything else goes there. Okay? Well, I'm with my answer. Okay. Okay, Raviv, do you, do you have an answer for me? So I, I have an answer for you. I, yeah. you see, if, if, if I say Merlot for every single bottle, at least I'll have one of them right. That's right. Maybe, because... Okay. okay, maybe. <laughs> but you're gonna go with Merlot, Raviv? No, no. I'm actually gonna go with. Uh, I, I think it's actually. Um, I'm, no, it's not Bordeaux. I think it's a Cabernet. Okay, Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. That, uh, Benjamin, you got it. Yes. And okay. I would go with. Uh, I think two, two B is California and two A is Israel. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, you want to do that this way? Got it. Got it. Fine. Okay. Okay. We're gonna try to uh, expedite the process a little bit. 
Um, so, anyone who thinks this is a, that the two is a, let's start with cab, raise their hand. Okay, uh, Benj Benjamin, I'm just going to give you results. Okay, Jeremy okay. Mittman thinks it is a Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, John Stern also. Um, which one is which? <laughs> okay, Jeremy Mittman, A is Israeli, B is California. John, same? Sure, the same thing. Okay, anyone who is, uh, what about the, the Zoom people? Anyone uh, else thinks it's a Cabernet? No, okay, fine. Merlot. Anyone thinks it's a Merlot? Okay, nobody thinks it's a Merlot? Not the Zoom, not the Zoom people? Um, uh, Ernie, I can't hear you, so you, you have to let me know. Um, okay, nobody thinks it's a Merlot. Fine. Right. Oh, can you hear me now? I'm not, no, I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just going. Anyone, 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 it's, anyone thinks it's a, it's a Malbec? Okay, uh, okay, Moshe Kupiecki thinks it's a Malbec, Bruce Friedman thinks it's a Malbec, and Mo Graber thinks it's a Malbec. Okay, Moshe, give us uh, your thoughts, Israeli, Amer uh, of, of California. I, I think the uh, A is uh, Israeli and B is California, although I'm okay. not sure there's a California Malbec, but. Okay, let's go with that. Good enough. Anyone thinks it's a Syrah? Um, okay. Excuse me one moment, Arik. Okay, sorry. Um, Malbec for Graber, Kupietsky, and who else? Who else thought it was a Malbec here, guys? Stern. Stern did. Stern. Larry Stern, right? Yeah. And, and um, Bruce Friedman. Ernie Katz, Cabernet. Okay, Ernie Katz, Cabernet. Yeah. Okay, we're going to uh, think now uh, Syrah. Anyone thinks it's a Syrah? Okay, so for Syrah I'll, we have Ugo. I'll go out on the limb and say that. Steve Tabak thinks it's a Syrah. Yeah. Jeff Warber. Rafi uh, Marmore. Annie Sampson. Jason Rafi. Ward. Syrah also. Jason Grunbaum is also Syrah and Ellie Broner is also Syrah. And Rafi Marmore, Syrah. And Rachel Marmore. Hey, one moment. You can make a sandwich with it tomorrow. I can't okay, tell Syrah, you what it is. I have Tayback, Marmor, Gruenbaum. Who else? Uh, Broner, Rose, Werber, Samson. Broner, Rose. Rebeau? Oh, I can tell you this, uh, like the... 2B is my favorite wine so far, <laughs> by far. That's all I can tell you. What? No, 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 no. I'm big on California wines, man. I'm big on California wines. What? I changed. I evolved. I evolved. He loves California wines. Okay. Fine. Um, we're going to... Have, have not heard from Friedman or Katzen? Yeah. Um, well, uh, 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 but then I have to shoot you because I know what. Yeah, D David is going to cheat, so forget about David. David Katz is, is he's got the answers, and Bruce really? Friedman is, um, I think, it, Malbec. Okay, you want to do locations? Can't can't do that. It's gonna it's, it's gonna. Okay. But guys, come on. How is uh, how's the food? Excellent. Yeah. We're missing the How's everybody think? Well, what everybody thinks about the food? Excellent. Excellent. Great. Goes well with the wine? Yes. Who powers the wine? Good. Because that's the whole point of the, uh, of the food, guys. It's, it's, it's basically to experience the food with the wine and different foods and different, you have different tastes. You have like, you know, the vegetables and the meat and the pasta. They're all different tastes. And it's going to taste differently 
the wine is going to taste differently with each bite. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, we're going to move with our lesson. Okay, how do I do that? Um, okay, I'm going to share my screen again. Okay. Oh, what happened? Um, Rabbi Broner, can you help me? Quick question, Arik. Yes. Did you say we're not doing locations for number two? We are, but people are just like. Okay. I want to share my screen. I want to. Can't take this crowd any place. Okay. So he obviously thinks number two. It's just like, just. Out. I don't know what happened. I don't know either. Okay, yeah, that's good. Hitting controls. Yeah, but I have control. I don't know what happened. I don't know either. I don't see it. Yeah, there it is. That's no, that's the show. Do you have a place where you can push screen share at the top? Because I'm seeing your yeah. screen here. Oh, you're still in. Okay, one second. There we go. Okay. Okay, this, that's the one. Okay. okay. There you so go. How do I move this? How do I move this? Uh, I'm just gonna go like this. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna move uh, with a. Uh... So another din that co that comes from uh, from uh, the importance of the wine that it's also when it comes to hamotzi. On a bread, the amoti does not exempt from um, the recitation of Borah Pregaf and the, the reciting of Bracha over the wine. And if you want to drink wine during your meal, you need to say Hamotzi Lechem I'm sorry, Borah Pregaf. And that's the difference between uh, wine and the other, uh, the other drinks, that any other drinks that one is drinking during the meal are secondary or subordinate to the bread, any food or drink, and therefore they're exempt by the recitation of hamotzi. However, the wine, when you drink it in as part of the meal, because it's so important, it's not exempt uh, by hamotzi, and you need to recite bore pri hagafen. Okay, so when it comes to um, uh, the bracha after drinking, though, um, when you say birkat hamazon, because you had bread, you do not need to recite um, mein chalosh. And why is that? Because bracha of mein chalosh, the bracha, the last bracha on the wine, is included in birkat hamazon. Okay. So, and just like hamotzi on bread, exempt all food okay just like that so also wine exempt all types of drinks during the meal assuming that either those drinks are there or that he is thinking at least of having those drinks later on during uh the meal okay now so when it comes, for example, for Kiddush, not that we have now in the shul, but technically, like for example, we have a Kiddush in the shul, right? So when you hear Kiddush, 
So if you drank from the wine, that exempts all the other drinks. Let's assume that then you drank soda or whatever that is. All you need to say after that, the only bracha after is going to be al hagefen, i.e. bracha achrona, after the wine, if you drank a revi'it. Otherwise, if you did not drink a revi'it, you're going to say bore nefashot for all the soda and water, whatever you drank during the Kiddush. However, if you heard the Kiddush, so you already fulfilled the mitzvah, the obligation of hearing Kiddush, but you did not drink from the wine, okay, of the Kiddush, and you drank other stuff like soda, whatever that is, then you need to recite bracha both before and after hey. the, uh, the soda. So you need to say she'akol, and bore nefashot after that. So the, because the, the bracha, because you did not drink wine, and the wine will exempt, at least from the bracha before, the other uh, drink during uh, the kiddush. Okay. Now, what we need to do is to go into the third wine. Or at least the third grape. Okay, so we're going to I'm going to stop share my screen here. And we're going to go to 3A and 3B. Okay. 3A and 3B. Okay, guys, uh, if you're in Zoom, you can unmute yourself now. All I can tell you guys, it's gonna be very interesting when I reveal the results. You had only four, now we're into number five and six. Okay, so we have three A and three B. Lechaim, guys, drink, tell me what you think. Drink and think. Nice. <laughs> wow. I don't, had, I don't think I've had this grape. All I can tell you guys, I think I'm true to my word. These are really fabulous wines, each one of them. Yeah. You, you've done a good job. Did you drink every bottle as you were choosing them, Ari? No. But I, have, I, I, I know what to, uh, I have a pretty good uh, already idea what, uh, what to choose. I've been drinking long enough, let's put it this way. <laughs> 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 That's good, I like this one a lot. Whatever it is, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Okay. okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do it in an efficient way, guys. Um, anyway, I'm just like, it's just like random uh, order. Anyone who thinks this is a yeah, this too, uh, a cab, Cabernet Sauvignon, raise your hand. Okay, Ugo and John Stern. Anyone here on Zoom? Ernie, I can't see you, so yes. I don't know. I'm Yes, yes for cab. Okay. So it's Ugo, John Stern, and Ernie Katz for Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, John, you're gonna, just going to make a pick for which one is the Israeli, which one is the California. Which is mean, what? Okay, B is the Israeli one, A is the California one. That's according to... Well, Ugo, you think it's the opposite? I think it's the opposite. Okay, Ugo thinks it's the opposite. Rachel? I think it's a cab as well. Um, I'm going to say... Rachel, Rachel a, thinks it's a cab as well. I'm going to say... You say it. I'm going to say A is California, B is Israeli. Okay, Benjamin, you're getting all that stuff? No, please summarize. That's what I'm saying. Um, Ernie Katz, John Stern, and Ugo all think this is... 
uh, three is a and Rachel Marmor. They all think that this is a Cabernet Sauvignon. And um, John thinks this is the A is the California. Sorry, A, A is Israeli basic. I got it right, right? He, a is the California, B is the Israeli. Hugo thinks the opposite. And Rachel is? A, California, B, Israeli. Fine. A, California, B, Israeli. Ernie? I say B, Israel, A, California. Okay. Fine. I think this might be a problem. Okay. Okay. What was the very last person's vote? I got, I got Rachel's. What is the vote? You got Rachel. This is the Cabernet. Now, okay. Anyone thinks this is a Merlot? Raise your hand. Wait, 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 wait. We'll get there. So, anyone thinks this is a Merlot? Uh, Moshe Kupiecki thinks this is a Merlot. Bruce yes. Friedman thinks this is a Merlot. Moshe, give us uh, your, okay. not explanation, just like which is which. Anything you want. Yeah, I, I think the A is California and B is Israeli. And I okay. Like smell of B either. Fine. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Anyone thinks this is a Malbec? Yeah, I do. Raviv Serpent thinks it's a Malbec. Okay. Yeah. Which is which? Uh, a, California and B, Israel. Okay, anyone thinks it's a Syrah? Oh my God, watch it. What's okay, uh, Jeremy Mittman thinks this is a, it's a Syrah. Which one, Jeremy, which one is which? Okay, A is California, B is in Israel. Okay, anyone thinks this is a Cabernet Franc? I put in a dissenting okay. opinion for that. Um, so, Donny Sampson, Jason Grunbaum and Ellie Broner all think this is a Cabernet Franc. Yeah. Johnny says A is California. Yeah. Okay. Cabernet Franc I'm, I'm, is Samson and who else? And Jason Grunbaum and Ellie Broner. Okay. And me. And you also, Steve Tabak. Okay, yeah. Steve, you think this is A, a is California? Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> sure, why not? Okay. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, guys, I'm going to continue with uh, with the yeah. We did three. Give me your glass. I'll empty it. With the shear. <laughs> okay. Now we come to this um, concept of Birkat Hatova Meitiv. So the Chachamim actually uh, made a takana for bracha on the drinking of additional wine. Okay, that if you drink wine and then you drink another wine, even though you already said Bore Priagafen on the first one, you're going to recite another bracha called Hatove Hametiv, which we did earlier, before the second wine. Same goes if you had a third wine, a fourth wine, a fifth wine, and <coughs> We're going to get into that in a second, why we didn't make the bracha all the time. So. What if you know the second one is inferior to the first? Right. Well, we'll get that in a second. So, first of all, we have that, that deen, that, that, that rule only when it comes to wine, not by meat, not by bread. So, for example, you had type, one type of bread and a second type of bread or whatever. You don't say hamotzi or a special bracha or hatova meitib every time you ate a different type of bread or a different type of, of uh, meat or whatever food it is. It's only on wine. Why? Because it has this special quality that it's not only makes you full, but it also makes you happy. And since every wine it ha has its own specific characteristics, and when you drink another wine, especially together in a group setting, then you increase the simcha, and therefore you have to make another bracha on the yain. That's the Masechet Brachot and the Tosfot, it's about on the Rosh and, and, and all that. So now, what are the rules? So first of all, you don't need that the, the second wine is going to be better than the one, the first one. You just need to know that it's not worse than the first one. Okay? The fact that it's different, it's already qualified for another bracha. So for example, it can be a different varietal, can be a different grape, can be a different year, can be a different geographic area. That's amazing. No, that, that you don't need to know the difference, but you need to know it tastes better or not, 
right? Could be red and white, could be like, you know, one from California, one from Israel, all that kind of stuff. As long as there's a chidush in the taste of the wine, you need to make the bracha, oh, baruch atah shem elokeinu melech haolam, hatov vehameitiv. Right? So if you had several bottles, what you need to do is you say the borep reagafen on the first one, and on each one, each wine later on, you say the bracha of hatov vehameitiv. Okay? If they're different, whatever that is, different type of, you know, grape, different year, different whatever, all that kind of stuff. As long as it tastes different. Um, now, we, you don't recite the bracha of Hatova Hameti, however, um, if you drink alone. You, exactly. Nobody drinks alone. And therefore, when you are in company, then the simcha is being increased, and therefore you say the bracha. Okay? So you have to do it in company, and for, for that matter, it means anything. Like, you know, even with your wife, your, your family, whatever, it doesn't have to be uh, now. So that same goes for the third wine, the fourth wine, the fifth wine, whatever, whatever that is. Now, if you had all the wines together with you, so according to some of the opinions, when you say Atova Metil, that includes already all the subsequent <laughs> wines, and therefore you do not recite Atova Metil every time. Otherwise, we would have recited Atova Metil tonight already seven times. Okay? So we're going to follow that opinion, and therefore we said Atova Metil only once in the beginning, and we're not um, going to uh, recite it again and again and again and again. Now, what if you make kiddush, for example, on grape juice? You have kids and you make kiddush on grape juice and then you're going to have wine during the meal. Then, then what? Atovah Of course you say Atovah and And by the way, if you had grape juice, it does not consider to be wine. So yes, for Borep Agafen, it's considered to be wine. But for that purpose, for Atovah Amitiv, it's not considered to be a wine. And therefore... If you had wine and you had another one, then you say a second time, Atova Metiv, et cetera, et cetera. It's always better to give the kids wine, and if your kids get drunk, it's amazing. <laughs> um, now, if you... No, Atova Metiv, as, as, as long as it's not worse than the previous one, you say the bracha. Not worse? Not worse than the other one, the previous one you say. And even if, it, even if the, in your mind, in your mind, and even, and even if, if it's, it, it, as long as it, it has a, some sort of a chidush, it has a novelty, it has a different taste, something, then it qualifies for this bracha. Okay? Now, generally speaking, it's better for one person to say the bracha for everybody, on, on, every, on behalf of everybody. However, however, um, if... Uh, everybody's going to be busy eating and nobody's going to listen to the bracha, then everybody's going to say for themselves. So I'm just going to summarize that here. When you say Hatova Metiv, you have, um, it's a different wine and not worse than the previous wine. First you say Hagafen on the first wine and then, and you need to choose the better one for Borep Hagafen and then Hatov on the second wine and the third, etc. At least you have two people drinking, no limit how many wines, okay? And the grape juice is not considered as first wine for Hatova Amitiv at least. And if paying attention, if everybody's paying attention, then you uh, one recite the bracha and everybody answer. However, otherwise, if everybody's too busy like eating, then um, then actually it's better that everybody's going to recite for 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 himself or herself. Okay. Now. Um, Let's go to the next one. What about Birkat Amazon? Anyone have questions, actually? No, good. Birkat Amazon. So Chachami made it a takana to actually have Birkat Amazon on a glass of wine. Why? Because we wanted to, to, to be recited with simcha and festivity. And when you make a bracha to a Kadosh Baruch Hu on a glass of wine, you, you show this way that the bracha is complete and full. 
it's a full blessing. And there's an attachment of the godly, the spiritual, in Birkat Amazon, together with the Simcha and the enjoyment that's in the physical world. However, the Chachamim had a machloket, okay, in what condition or what situation are we going to uh, say Birkat Amazon on a glass of wine? Okay, so first opinion says, always, even if you eat alone, you say Birkat Amazon, that means you have to do it on a glass of wine. Second opinion says, no, only when you have a zimun, either three people or what we call zimun gadol, which is 10 people when you say Baruch Eloheinu, then you recite on a glass of wine. And the third um, opinion said, even when you um, are together and you have three people and you are doing zimun, you're not obligated to have a glass of wine. And the halacha, the bottom line, halacha le ma'aseh, is that it's a mitzvah when you have a zimun, but it's not obligatory. And therefore, when it's a difficult to get wine or you don't want to drink wine or whatever that is, um, or you don't want to bother or whatever that is, you don't have to, um, in, to have wine in your Birkat Amazon, even if when you are benching, when you have a zimun. However, when it comes to Shabbat, holidays, special occasions like wedding, Sheva Brachot, Brit, whatever, that kind of stuff, and you have a zimun, then the custom is to have a bracha a la kos, that means we do birkat amazon on the glass. Okay, anyone uh, had any interesting uh, comment on the wine together with the food? Specifically, I didn't need anything. I'm going to try it later, but... More specific, Jeremy. More specific, like, you know, the salami goes amazing with the first wine. Uh, I don't know. The pasta goes amazing with the third wine. I don't know. Stuff like that. The chocolate. Leave the chocolate for the end, Jason. Leave the chocolate for the end. That's delicious. <laughs> okay. Anyone from our Zoom participant that have uh, something to say? No. Okay. I'm going to go to the next uh, topic has to do with wine, is what we call a kosher bracha. Kosher bracha is determined that in halacha for a, gr a glass of wine, that the bracha on it, as a, you know, as a glass of wine, is attached to another bracha. So when it comes to kiddush, for example, we say borei pregafer, but we also make kiddush on Shabbat, right, etc. So, we, we say that on Kiddush, Havdalah, right? So we have the Havdalah. We say Borei Agafen for the wine, but we say also Havdalah, Mokdib Ben Kodesh Lechol. We say Mekadesh HaShabbat in Kiddush. We say in Arba Kosot, the four cups in the Lela Seder, right? Um, uh, or Erusin, Nisuin, Sheva Brachot, Brit Mila, Pityon Ben. And as we said before, also in sometimes in Birkat Amazon, special occasions and that kind of stuff. All that all those events have a specific bracha suitable for that event. And when we recite the bracha, we hold the, the cup and we say, Bore Pre Agafen. And additionally, we say another bracha that has to do with the event itself. Now, the halachot of kosher bracha are brought in the Talmud in several places, especially in the sugya in Masechet Brachot, uh, page uh, 51. And that was the halacha in the Shulchan Aruch, etc. According to the opinion over there, we say asarat varim, ten items were said in a kos shel bracha, in a cup of blessing. Okay, so Rabbi Yochanan says that he said no, we have only four, only four items, only four things are brought down to halacha, or the rest are minhagim, whether we're going to follow them or not, but. Um, Lechatchila, only the four were brought down to Halacha, the rest are customs, or what we call Hidur Mitzvah, the enhancement of Mitzvah. So when it comes to Koshal Bracha, a couple of things. One, the Kos, the cup itself has to be whole, not broken. Number two, it has to be clean. Well, that makes sense, but also, you know, it's got to be a clean glass for uh, Koshal Bracha in order to be the third one is chai or mazug. So in the times of the Talmud, the wine was actually very different than ours. Mm -hmm. It was very concentrated and they, they had to dilute it with water. So um, 
um, the, the Gemara says that you need to add water. In today's wines, you do not, and you should not add water to your wine. Okay? Only to your scotch. Yes, that's a different story. Um, the water bottles are to hydrate and to rinse your glass. Um, okay, next one is when you have several glasses, you choose the one that you like most, the nicest, the most beautiful one, the one that you think is special, whatever, whatever you know you think is is the best one. Um, no less than that's the shiur, the revi'it. Okay, the medium, the middle. Opinion is 86.4 milliliters or 2.9 um, uh, OZ. So it's uh, ounces. So so this is, uh, I'm sorry, some, some opinion says 75, some opinion says 90 something, whatever. But the middle uh, mm -hmm. opinion is that it's 86. So it has to be that, that's the minimum shiu. It has to be a full cup. Different opinions what exactly it means full cup, whether it has to overflow or it's just like full cup the way people consider full full mm -hmm. cup. Another item is that you need, when you make the bracha, you need to look at the cup during the recitation of the bracha. Mm -hmm. Then what we called is there's a tool. The Gemara says that you need to le'ater, to adorn the or envelope. The, the, these are the two um, um, interpretations of what it means for the wines, for the wine, for the cup. So uh, two uh, opinions are brought in the Gemara. One is to like this picture, then, then, you know, that you have like other glasses around the cup, like for example, the Kiddush cup, or that you have the other participants standing around the, uh, the person who actually make the bracha, the Kiddush or whatever that is. And that's also some sort of a, Adorn. That that is not brought down for Allah. That's a, just a, a custom, um, mm -hmm. and not uh, many people follow that. But now you know what's the source for all those uh, kiddush sets or the kiddush uh, whatever you have. Like you know, a lot of little cups around. This is uh, the the source uh, for that. Um, another uh, uh, item is that it can't be pagum. Okay, pagum. That means a cost that somebody drank from it. Okay, so if you drank from a cup of wine, you cannot use it now for the bracha. It has to be a full cup of wine. You can't use a cost. Even if it has the minimum, the minimum shi'ur, the minimum quantity, still you cannot use that if you already drank from it. So it can be pagum. Um, when you zip, when you drink, we take a sip after you drank, it has to be melo lugmav. It has to be either a revit or a or at least a full cheek, one cheek, um, that's called melol lugmav. That's the minimum uh, quant qu quantity of wine. And then um, when you make the bracha, you need to bring, you need, it's, it's better if you give others to drink as well, okay? And when you hold the, uh, as you can see here in the, in the picture, when you hold the cup, you take it with two hands, and then when you make the bracha, you hold it with one hand. Okay, so you hold it with two hands, to give it importance, and then you hold it with one hand and you lift it at least like nine centimeters, 3.5 or so, not accurate, inches from the table. Um, and then you hold it with your right hand like the way we do in other mitzvot like lulav or tkiat shofar, etc. that we do it with our right hand. Okay, next is, so what do we do in Kiddush? How to give others from the Kiddush cup? So many have the custom that the wife and kids, they drink from your cup, and that is fine and dandy. There's not a problem here. However, when it comes to the other participants, if you have guests, that's not so great, you know? And that's the, actually it's brought down to halacha that it's not derech eretz because people are, don't want to drink from your own cup, the cup that you already drank for, okay? Because, you know, people could get sick, especially now we're talking about COVID and, uh, and uh, you know, you can catch all sorts of stuff and whatever, and people just sometimes just don't feel great about that. So option number one, drink from the cup and then you pour to others. 
right? You drink, you make the bracha, you finish Kiddush, you make the bracha, and then you drink, you take a sip, and then you pour to the other, to the other participants. The problem with that is you're, pr you're pouring from a pagum, from incomplete cup, not to mention COVID. Yeah, but so it's not a great idea. So therefore, the solution for that is that after you drink, you add wine to the cup, the cup is complete, and then you pour to the others. It still doesn't fix the problem with COVID, but at least it's not a, what we call a pagum. It's not incomplete cup. You drink it ah. in the cup? Here's the second option. The second option, after you make the bracha, you pour to a different cup and you drink from that cup. The first cup is still full because you didn't drink from it. Then from that cup that you made a kiddush, you pour to the others. Okay, and if you need, you don't have even enough wine in the cup, you can pour, you can add from the bottle and that is fine as much as you need. Okay, and the most, uh, and the best way, the most hidu mitzvah is you fill everybody's cup before you make the kiddush. It doesn't have to have a revi'it. You can have it a tiny bit and, and uh, you make the bracha once everybody, while everybody already have though uh, their uh, cup of, of wine. Correct. 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 Because you, you have in mind all the wine. You have in mind all the wine. I'm sorry? No, they don't have to have a revit. You have to have a revit to make the bracha, but they don't have to have a revit. Oh, yes. Yes. No. If if it comes before the bracha, correct. If it's after the bracha, it has to come from your cup. If it's before the bracha, it has to. It, it could come directly from the cup. Yeah. yeah. It's just they want to say kiddush, but on, on their own. They don't have to. And by the way, the Hidro Mitzvah is actually to do one Kiddush, Berov Am, Berov Am Hadrat Melech, but some people still want to say the Kiddush. So now we're going to go into the most interesting part. And this is going to, I want to see everybody's, um, everybody's um, um, uh, ability to hold the cup. We're going to go into that in a minute. But um, I want everybody to go into four. Go into wine number two. Pair, num pair four. So four. it's four. Go to 4A and 4B. This is going to be funny because I'm going to speak less. So you're going to do more. You're going to see in a minute. Okay. Everybody pour 4A and 4B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna make a little... We're gonna do. We're gonna do a little game here. We're gonna do a little game. So the question is, how to hold the kosher bracha, the the cup that you make kiddush or whatever bracha that you make on on that cup. So the Zohar tell us. Ah, we'll see. This is somebody here went to yeshiva. So. So. Um, so the the Zohar says that. What? That the cup needs to be on five fingers like a rose. Okay, see the rose? It has those petals that envelope the... Uh, guys, this is gonna be on the screen here. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> that the, the petals envelope the flower. All right, that's what the Zohar says. Question is, there's gonna be a lot of interpretations what exactly means. So you see, like, you know, one option, two option, a third option, let's go into that. There's no right and wrong. These are all legitimate customs. So what we're going to do now here, this is going to be very funny. Everybody's going to practice. You have, I hope, a proper glass. Thank you, uh, Ugo. Um, everybody has a proper glass of wine and we're going to practice all the difference. So one opinion says what? Hold in the palm of the hand and fingers stretch up around the cup. Okay, put an illustration. So, first of all, I need to try the uh, the wine. Excuse me. First thing first. Okay. 
Oh, I like this wine a lot. And I like this wine really a lot. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, this is the first uh, the first one. We hold it I look like this, or or from here, right? Yeah, no, look, look here. It's either this from from the cup itself or from the leg. It makes no difference. Okay, you have a you have a picture and you have a you have a very from uh, rabbi. It looks in the picture very from rabbi that does that. So I guess it's a legitimate way to do to do it. Have a leg, correct? Me, for example. Um, that's the way I hold my cup most of the times. Okay, let's see the second way. Uh, everybody, no, 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 no. Before we go to the second way, everybody practice. Also on Zoom, everybody practiced? Okay, practiced uh, the way to hold the cup. That's the first way. Second way. Let's see if you can do that. Cup is standing on the fingers. Okay, this, this guy looks pretty from to me and like he looks pretty. <laughs> pretty sad. What? Well, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. From the bottom. This is the Kabbalist, the, 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 the Kabbalists go like this. And by the way, after, after like, you know, eight glasses of wine, that's, that's really an achievement if you can. No, 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 Jason. Jason, doesn't work like that. No, 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 on the bottom. <laughs> Come on, guys, you can do it. It's not that difficult. Okay, here's the third option. So you hold it with the, you know, from the bottom. You hold the bottom, but with straight fingers using only the fingertip. Yeah, you hold it either from here or if you can, like this. Okay? So it's, you're not using the palm of your hand. Jeremy, how are we doing? You're still stuck at number one. We're number three, Jeremy. Look here, look, look here. The illustrations here, man. The positions of the cup. It's all different interpretations for the same thing. The same statement from the Zohar. Larry, I haven't heard you. you. How, how, Larry Stern, how are you doing with uh, practicing all the different positions of the cup? Um, when I'm sober, I can hold it any way I want. <laughs> he said when he's sober, he can hold it. <laughs> Ernie Katz, how are we doing with this? Ernie? I think we lost Ernie. No, I'm still here. Still here. You're still here. Can you hold the glass straight? Okay, barely. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here's the next position. You hold the bottom with curved fingers using only the fingertips. So it's going to be like this. Right. Or like this. Not straight from the bottom, but like curved. This one is not kosher. <laughs> no, just kidding. Okay. Okay. Now, another opinion says that you hold the sides of the cup. The sides of the, the same cup. guy we saw before. No, it's not the same guy. No, 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 Steve. <laughs> No, 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 Steve. You, I think you had a little bit of wine, Steve. <laughs> this is not the same guy. No. He's got the same frown. No, He's no, the no. Guys, the fact that somebody has a black hat and a beard doesn't mean that they're all the same. <laughs> they think the same. They think the same. Huh? Okay, this is this is Jason. I think this is the 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 I don't know the closest to what you suggested. <clears throat> oh. 
Guys, you need to think about the um, the last wine, the fourth for A and B. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And here's the last one, which is on straight fingers with or without the pinky. I've seen both versions. Um, you know, like this. So there you go. You didn't know that there are like, uh, <coughs> you know, that you didn't know that there are like, you know, five different ways of, of uh, holding the cup, all part of the halakha or part of the mesora or part of the customs. Yeah, um, would be better. On straight fingers, so you can choose whatever you want. I like four be better. Yeah, I like four. They're all they're all based on the same same the same. I think it's, I think most people yes, but for the people who actually know this stuff, it's based on their interpretation of the puzzle from the Zohar. Okay. So, I hope everybody practiced. I'm gonna stop sharing uh, in a second. Um, by the way, um, our next tasting, I'm hoping that we will be able to do it on Cholamoed Sukkot. I have something in mind that is going to be very, 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 very. Very. Like, yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be very unusual, very unusual. No, no. And uh, I hope that you'll be able to join us. Um, that's going to be the week of the 4th of October. Um, no, but it's going to be something very cool. It's going to be very something very cool. I'm just I'm working on the concept. Okay, so now we're up to the 4th pair and I want to see um, what people are thinking. So, um, anyone thinks it's a Cabernet Sauvignon? Raise your hand. Okay, Jason Grumbaum thinks it's a Cabernet Sauvignon. Anyone else on Zoom? No? Okay. Uh, yeah. Just a sec. Benjamin, did you get it? Yes, do we do locations? Just a second. So, Jason, Jason, any preference? Look, one, one. What is the Israeli one? Is so. Okay, A is California, B is Israeli. Okay, Jason, uh, Benjamin, you got it. Yes. Okay. Anyone thinks that the uh, four number four is Merlot? Raise your hand. I'll go for that. Okay, uh, Steve Tayback. Bruce Friedman and Ugo Rose all think. And Rachel Marmer. And Rachel Marmer. They all think that number four is a Merlot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, early. Friedman, Marmer, Tayback, and who was the fourth? Marmor. And Ed, Ed Ernie. Thank number you. <laughs> okay, so. Location. Okay, so um, I'm, I'm going to interpret that through Ugo. Ugo says that B is the Israeli and uh, A is the, the California. Uh, Steve? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rachel, any comments? Same, same here. A, California, okay. B. Got it. Anyone thinks this, uh, um, the fourth pair is a Syrah? Mo Graber thinks it's a Syrah. Excellent. Mo, Mo. What is a, what is a, a and B? <laughs> just a sec, just a sec. Mo, just. Okay, A is Israeli, B is California. Jeremy, yes. And therefore, so this is gonna be your choice? Wow. Okay, guys, you're gonna be very surprised when I reveal everything. Um, Jeremy Mittman claims this is a Malbec and A is the Israeli one and B is the California one, right? Got it. Okay, that's a Malbec according to uh, Jeremy Mittman. Um, by the way, guys, I'm just, I'm, I'm, because since I'm gonna reveal very soon, uh, 4B is the most expensive wine. Okay, it's about, so I... uh, It's about $120 a bottle. Mm. 
I'm just saying. Anyway. Okay. Um, so, uh, I, any, any, uh, Arik, I haven't said mine. Yeah. I think it's, Raviv. It's a Syrah. I think it's a Okay, Syrah. Raviv thinks it's a Syrah. And I think A is California and B is Israeli. Okay, Benjamin, you got it? Yes. Okay. Anyone thinks this is... Uh, um, okay, we, we had Malbec, Syrah, Cabernet. Anyone thinks it's a Cabernet Franc? I do. Merrill does. Merrill thinks this is a Cabernet Franc. And Merrill, I think, you want to... And I think you've got another one that isn't listed. I think this is the Mogan David Concord Grape. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Larry, I promise you that it's not on my list. <laughs> um, okay, but Meryl thinks it's a Cabernet Franc. Um, okay, Meryl, you want to uh, guess which is the Israeli one, which is the California one? Toss a coin. <laughs> Toss a coin, okay. Benjamin, I'm going to leave it to you. Anyone right. has any other uh, thoughts? I'm gonna go for Bordeaux. Bordeaux is not part of the. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take it. I'm, well, Bordeaux is a. It's a Cabernet that comes from Bordeaux. Okay, Moshe Kopietsky thinks it's a Bordeaux. Okay, but Bordeaux, Bordeaux like. Bordeaux as style. A, so in California, there are few, and there, there are more in Israel. I would say number one is from Israel. Number two, California. <laughs> okay. A B. Sorry. Okay. Okay. I think it's time to um, actually um, to reveal. Are you sure? Um, and uh, yeah, before I do the reveal, Jeremy Mitman. Yes, please go ahead. Come, 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 come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. Come. Jeremy uh, Mitman has an announcement. Yes. Hi. This is only. Can you guys. Uh, yeah. This is. Take it to you. Okay. This is only 23% of the wine speaking, by the way. Um, yes. No, I just want to say that um, this was a fantastic event, by the oh, way. And um, it would have been enough, by the way. It would have been enough. If we had the best of Los Angeles. But who knew that we would get all of this? So I just want to thank, uh, by the way, and I, I might turn, oops, sorry, I might, Diane, exactly. I might turn the screen just so you guys can see what's going on here. And, uh, Oh, you can see. I don't know if we want to see. <laughs> I wanted to thank Hugo, by the way, for making for making your house available for this. And um, and, and right behind every man is is the woman. And then um, you can't see us. Stay thirsty, my friends. Yes. And then the last. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's reveal time. After we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, now that we know all the alahot, we know all the stuff, and we have those because that's the really important stuff guys. The halachot of wine is the really important stuff. Okay. So, I'm very disappointed in all of you. <laughs> so I can say, the first wine, guys, the first wine, the first pair was a Cabernet Franc. Nobody got it right. Hmm. I drink a Cabernet Franc a lot. I have the, the bottles also, yes. So the first one was the from the Alexander Winery in Israel. There was the Israeli one, and the second one was Hagafen, um, hmm. and a Cabernet Franc, and nobody got it right. The second one, I think nobody got it right as well. The second wine was a Merlot. Oh, that's hmm. Nobody used Merlot in the second one. Um, the A, the A was. I'm sorry. Yes, that's the first one. Could use the four on Jeremy. Jeremy, you you can bring all you can bring them all, like you know, if people want to see. So the the second one was a Merlot. Um, so the A was a cop a co goblet, which is a, a a new winery 
Um, they grow the wines, uh, the, 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 the vines here in California. And the, the um, not that, the, the other ones on the floor, you have everything. No, 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 next to it, next to it, whatever. Um, but like he does like really amazing stuff, goblet. So it's, if you're not familiar with that winery, you should, um, you should get familiar with that. Um, and the second Merlot is an Israeli one. It's a Yarden. It's a, it's a Alonei Habashan Yarden. It's a phenomenal wine. This is why I said it's, uh, so if you have a little bit leftover, which I ask everybody to have to, so go back to the 2B. By the way, I want everybody to go now and drink all the stuff that, that you have left with the chocolates. It's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> the uh, Alonea Bashan, the Alonea Bashan is, is a phenomenal wine. In my, in my mind, this is probably one of the best kosher Merlots, if not the best Merlot. Um, it's about uh, $80. Um, I think it's the best Merlot out there. They are then. Eight, 80. 80. Yeah, 2B. Um, the, goblet, the goblet is $70. The goblet is a Merlot, it's a $70 goblet. Yeah. Um, the third one, which uh, I think only Jeremy got right, the third one was a Syrah. And here we had, we had the A, the three A was a Haidu. Haidu, phenomenal guy. Jonathan Haidu is a phenomenal guy um, here in Berkeley. By the way, guys, uh, you know, he's also the winemaker at, uh, at Covenant. Uh, phenomenal guy and, and uh, does like uh, interesting, very, very interesting stuff in his own line called uh, Haidu. Um, and the Israeli version of that Syrah is, is Yatir. Mm. Yatir. Okay, so if you're uh, familiar with Yatir Forest, this is a Yatir Syrah, also fantastic wine. The fourth one, which people didn't like, which was a Cabernet Sauvignon. So the A was a Segal, the Segal unfiltered. Okay. Segal. The Segal, the like A that one. was what? <laughs> Never did like that one. Segal. I think it's overrated. I, the Segal unfiltered, I think it's highly overrated and overpriced. It is, but I thought it was, you know, it's like, uh, it's, 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 uh, a lot of people like it. I'm not like a huge fan of Segal, but I think that it, you know, I need for, for the sake of fair representation, I, I, I brought it. So this is the Segal, the unfiltered uh, Cabernet. It's not a Cabernet bottle, but they, used, but they used a Syrah bottle. You are absolutely correct. You are absolutely correct, Jason. They use, they use a Syrah bottle for a Cabernet. Um, uh, Jeremy, you, you have to show all that stuff here also, by the way. Here. Oh, yeah, this is the unfiltered. Yeah. yeah. And, and the other stuff you need to, to bring it also. And the last one, the 4B, the 4B is, is it's a Herzog. Rutherford. It's a Cabernet. Rutherford. On, Jeremy. It's like, you know, you can't get like good help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a phenomenal wine. Um, it's, it's, I, I, I was lucky to find it at, uh, actually on a big sale in Skyview. Skyview. If you're not familiar with that uh, place in, in New York, mm -hmm. in Riverdale, you should. So I bought like this stuff in Skyview and Kosher Wine and Haidu, whatever. So this is the Cabernet uh, Special Reserve, the, uh, the Rutherford uh, from Herzog, which is a great wine. Narrow, the narrow uh, label is good. Okay. So there you have it. Uh, if you have uh, leftovers and you want to uh, play with that. So again, 
the the <laughs> the, Al um, the Alexander Alexander Winery Cabernet Franc is one A, one B is Hagafen Cabernet Franc, two A is Goblet Merlot, two B is Yarden Merlot, three uh, A is Haidu Syrah, three B is Yatir Syrah, four A is the Segal Cab, and four B is Herzog Cab. And of course, right. I didn't put any Malbec. That was just, just to confuse, you, to confuse you guys. <laughs> but uh, I didn't put a Malbec. Next time, <laughs> yes. Can you email those? I, I can't read what I'm writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna email all that, all that stuff. I'm very disappointed in everybody. Nobody got it <laughs> right, man. I got one. Cabernet. You want that's why I, mean. I, I thought I thought that uh, that those those specials were pretty pretty good actually. They actually gave you very helpful. Yeah, I should I should have I should have stuck to Merlot for all four. <laughs> he said he can't read his own handwriting. He's a doctor, of course. Not. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He's a cardiologist. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm guilty. What can I say? Okay, I'm, go I'm going to, to turn the uh, computer here so you can see the guy. Um, you can see the guy. What? Yeah, so um, hmm. let, 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 let's do it this way. I, I think, guys, that uh, everybody needs to do their homework. I, I think you, you need to do your homework. People think that, you know, Oh, it's a Merlot. Oh, it's a Cab. Oh, it's a Syrah. You see, it's <laughs> so, uh, wrong. you know. And I'm very, I'm very big on actually different varietals, and uh, there are a lot, a lot of great grapes out there. So just have fun, just experiment, try it. He says there's a lot of great grapes out there. No, I I'm doing doing a pot. That's at you goes, huh? Um, right. Next time. Next time it's going to be very, very different. That art? Yeah, that's art. A lot of fun. Yeah, so, yeah. Mark, um, what did you say? Polamoy, Polamoy Sukkot. Polamoy Sukkot, the week of October 4th. October 4th, I think you said. Eight. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun to do uh, something very, very, very different. I hope that everybody learned something because, it's, yes, it's about wine, but it's also about learning uh, something, some of them. You want to practice uh, your holding of the cup by the way guys let me know i'll send you the <laughs> law i'll send you the slide you can practice and decide all over which one works. oh you're getting there jason it's good oh yeah here we go yeah yeah nice you go i apologize in advance <laughs> hugo thank you for for hosting by the way oh, somebody asked me here on the on the zoom this is the goblet and they have like a bunch of very interesting uh, stuff. So yeah. look for them. Yeah. They all uh, they all have the same price. Twenty yeah. dollars. Um, and uh, <laughs> I think he's, he's, he's. Hope he's not driving home. I think he's doing great stuff. Um, is he Ubering? Have fun. Wine is, is fun, and, and wine is also part of the idea of, of as I mentioned. That's beginning. a good excuse. <laughs> With the spiritual and the physical. So I hope everybody will have an amazing combination of spiritual and physical. Remember to celebrate. Remember to give thanks to Kodosh Bofu for everything we have. Um, if I do not uh, see you, I want to wish everybody Shana Tova Mutuka. Everybody should have the I I hope that uh, the the next year is going to be a um, better. better one than we have uh, this year. I hope yeah. that we have all the sorotovot. I hope that everybody will have an amazing year ahead. And look forward to um, see or hear or be in touch with each one of you uh, before the the Rosh Hashanah and of course before the next uh, tasting, David. Um, I'm so happy that you were able to join us, even though that you had all the answers before. Um, thank, you. thank you. It was a really wonderful experience. And thank uh, you. 
I, I, I'm so, so happy that you were able to join us. This and thank you for the extra effort that you went to to make it possible. Oh, please. My pleasure. Thank you, Arik. Yes. Arik, how are you? Thank you, Arik. My wine online. Everywhere. Wine house? Where do you get it from? Socialwine.com, jwines.com, Skyview, different like goblet.com, iu.com. Unofficially. Yeah. Everywhere. Right. Everywhere. All right. All right. How are you getting home? <laughs> How are you getting home, Mark? <laughs> oh, I'm totally fine. I, dr I, I drank very little from each. Oh, so I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm, totally, I'm totally fine. I have to go on my knees so you guys can see me. Steve? <laughs> Arik, it Good. was really wonderful. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, Meryl. Thank you. Thank you. Look forward to the next one. <laughs> Nine glasses in. We wish we could see you guys in person. <laughs> That's a shame. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.